Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bagisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the different default payment methods available in Bagisto that are the PayPal Smart Button, Cash on Delivery, Check Money Order, and the PayPal Standard. Cash on Delivery and Check Money Order are the offline payment methods, and the PayPal Smart Button and the PayPal Standard are the online payment methods that are available for the customers to choose at the time of checkout there. So the admin just needs to configure these uh, payment methods from the admin backend panel and then after uh, the customer makes a checkout, after selecting the billing address and the shipping method, the particular payment methods would be available for the customers to select. For example, if the customer selects the PayPal smart button, the PayPal smart button appears here on the right hand side. So you can pay through the PayPal or using your debit or credit card. If you want to go with the cash on delivery, you can check the instructions for the cash on delivery as well. Same goes with the check and money transfer. That's an offline payment method. And lastly, we have the online uh, payment method. That's the PayPal standard as well. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this uh, particular default payment methods available in Bagisto there. And I'll be showing you the workflow of the same at the customer's end, how the customers can select and make the payment using the same. And apart from that, I'll also be showing you the backend configuration settings for each of these payment methods as well. So all of these different default payment methods are available in Bagisto that are the PayPal smart button, cash on delivery, check money order and the PayPal standard itself. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I added one product in the car, that's the Puma RX BMW Motor Motorsport shoes. That's for $80. And then I've selected my billing address and uh, then i've selected the shipping methods and accordingly then the payment methods are being displayed to the customers at the checkout time now for example if the customer chooses the paypal smart button then you'll be able to make use of this online payment method to make the payment for this particular uh, order that you're going to place you can make use of the debit or credit card as well so if i tap here on the debit or credit card this would bring up the particular section wherein you will be able to add the details of your card number and uh, its expiry date and the csc number and you can tap here on the pay now button and the payment would uh, directly go through thereafter if you don't want to make use of the debit or credit card then you can choose paypal you can tap on that that will bring up this particular pop-up on your screens as you can see wherein you have to enter your paypal details so as to make the payment for this particular uh, order that you're going to play so for example for this one let's uh, go ahead and let's enter the details here and let me tap here on the login button thereafter so we'll be logged into our PayPal account and we'll be taken to the checkout page there they will be able to see the amount that we need to pay $80 for this particular order the total is $80 so I'll be choosing the PayPal balance here and using the PayPal balance I'll be making the payment for this particular order by tapping here on the pay now button as you can see. As soon as I've tapped on the pay now button the order would be uh, in process there. It will just take a few seconds for the order to complete. So the payment has been done and in a few seconds we'll see the order summary as well. So here you can see that the order has been placed using the PayPal smart button and the order ID is 9. If I go to the particular order, I can view the details order of the order and I can see the payment method as PayPal smart button as you can see here. Right? Now let's place one more order using the credit and debit card there. So I'll just add this shoe product once again into the card there let's make a check out thereafter here I'll select my shipping address or the billing address then I'll choose the uh, shipping method let's select the flat rate shipping right now for $10 so the total is $90 now now let's check the PayPal smart button here I'll choose debit or credit card this would bring up the section wherein we can fill in the details of the debit or the credit card there. 
now let me scroll down and let me enter the credit card details here and uh, after that let me enter the expiry and the CSC number and let's tap here on the pay now button thereafter as soon as I tap here on the pay now button the payment would be processed and the order would be placed and uh, you'll be able to see the order summary thereafter so this will take a few seconds there so the order has been placed the payment has been processed and the order has been placed the order id is 10 now if you take the order particular order you can see that the payment method is paypal smart button so this was one of the payment methods that's the online payment method that's the paypal smart button now let's go to the cash on delivery let's check how the customers would be able to check the uh, or make use of the cash on delivery payment method to place the order so the customer would add the product into the cart he'll tap here on the checkout button he'll select the billing address accordingly the shipping methods would be populated here if i tap on the cash and delivery we can see the instructions these instructions can be set up in the configuration settings of the cash and delivery itself so the instruction is pay the delivery guy at the time of receiving the order so after selecting this particular order uh, the payment method for this particular order the customer can scroll down he can see the free shipping method has been selected and the payment method has been selected as cash and delivery and then he can tap here on the place order button to place the order for the uh, particular product that he wants to purchase so this will take a few seconds there and the order would get placed thereafter so the order has been placed if I check the details of the order you can see it's on cash and delivery payment method selected and the instructions are pay to the delivery guy at the time of receiving the order itself now if i go to the order section you can see the order number nine that we had pay, uh, you uh, placed using the paypal smart button for 80 dollars that's in the processing mode because that was the online payment method so that's why automatically from depending the processing state has been set for the order the same goes with the other one where we use the uh, credit and debit card for placing the order using the paypal smart button so the same is visible here the status is processing but for the offline payment method we have the status as pending uh, because when the admin realizes that the amount has been received on his end after receiving the amount from the delivery guy then only he'll be able to set the status of this particular order as processing from the admin backend panel and then the further processing can be done for the respective order itself now let's go back and let's place one more order so i'll add the same product into the card there i'll make a checkout i'll select the billing address here i'll choose the shipping method now we have the check money transfer so here you can what you can do is you can make use of basically uh, for the offline payment methods the customers can place the order uh, instantly uh, but the payment can be done a later afterwards uh, the order has been placed right so same goes with the check money transfer as well so here we have the option where we can set up the send check to in favor of for example web cool software will be limited and where the check has to be uh, sent to it's s28 63 street drive lane california 900 usa we also have set up the money transfer details here as you can see for the customer so you can choose the check money uh, transfer option to place the order instantly right now and then what you can do is if you want to do the money transfer then you can transfer the amount into the bank account of the admin there or you can send the check uh, in favor of to the particular address there and after the realization of the check and the money transfer done by you the status of the order would be changed from pending to processing as per the requirement there and then the admin would be able to further process the particular order so the check and money order is also an offline payment method uh, so here we can select this up and we can tap here on the place order button to place the order instantly without the need to pay the amount right away so we can place the order right away and then afterwards we can send the check to the respective address or we can transfer the money to the account details provided by the admin 
uh, then it's uh, so after we have placed the order we'll also find the details or the instructions in the order history as well so if I scroll down here you can see that the send check to is in favor of and where you have to send it the details are also visible here and uh, the money transfer details are also visible here as you can see to the customer there now lastly uh, we have one more uh, uh, payment method that's the online payment method that's the PayPal standard now let's see the workflow and the PayPal standard so we'll tap the add to cart button for example and we'll tap here on the checkout button we'll select the billing address we'll select the shipping method we can select any of the shipping methods let's select this one it would be $90 at the grand total and we'll select PayPal standard we'll scroll down here we can see that the payment method selected is PayPal standard and we'll tap here on the place order button now we'll be redirected to the PayPal website in this case as we've already uh, logged into the account there for the PayPal when we were using the PayPal smart button so we are automatically being logged in so you can see that we are going to pay $90 uh, for eighty dollars for the shoe and ten dollars for the uh, shipping there I'll use the PayPal balance to make the payment there and I'll tap here on the pay now button you can see you paid ninety dollars to webcool if you want to check the details you can check the details as well and we are redirected back to the website thank you for your order let's check the order details this is also an online payment method so uh, the PayPal standard has been selected by the customer here under the payment method as you can see now if we check the details of the order number 13 here you can see that it would be in the pending state uh, after the realization only the particular one would be set into the processing mode there so this was the working of the different default payment methods that are available in the buggy store at the customer's end now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin uh, would be able to configure these uh, payment methods but before that let me uh, go to the checkout and let's keep the checkout page open so i'll just select the billing address select my shipping and after selecting the shipping we have the payment methods now let's hop on to the admin backend panel so i'll be logging into the Bagisto backend panel by entering the email and the password and tapping on the login button thereafter i'll be navigating to this uh, wrench icon and here i'll be going to sales under sales i'll be going to payment methods and here i'll find paypal a smart button cash and delivery money transfer paypal standard now under the PayPal here you can set up the title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time so here you can see that we have the PayPal smart button as the title the same is visible here the description has been set as PayPal uh, it is visible here as well as well PayPal so you can set up the description and the title as per your own requirement there then you have to enter the client ID and the client secret now what you need to do is you need to log into your uh, basically the PayPal uh, developer account and then what you need to do is you need to create a new uh, app under my apps and credentials and here you can choose whether you want to make use of the or you want to create the uh, credentials for the or the app for the sandbox or the live mode I've created for the sandbox mode and then you need to tap here on the create app give the name to the app and save the app and then the app would be saved as you can see here I've saved the merchant app then let's tap on the particular merchant app and this would bring up the details there so this will just, just take a few seconds there and this is how the merchant app would appear here you'll have your client id and tapping on the secret will bring up the secret key as well now the client id and the client id client id and the secret key needs to be entered here under the client id and the client secret then you need to enter the accepted currencies you can make use of multiple accepted currencies as well and you can enter those currencies by separated by commas as well for example uh, united states dollars indian rupee euros etc as for your own requirement there then you need to enable the status then you need to enable whether you want to make use it in the sandbox or the testing mode 
if you want to make use in the sandbox or the testing mode then you need to enable it if you want to make use in the live environment then you need to disable this particular sandbox option there and then you need to set the sort order of this particular method how it should be appearing at the top if you want to appear it at the top set it the sort order as one so that was about paypal cash and delivery similarly you can set the title of the cash and delivery the description of the cash and delivery the same would be visible here title description this is editable if you want to give any instructions you can set those instructions here if i select this up the instructions are visible here as you can see then you can automatically generate the invoice after placing an order for the offline payment method as well for doing so you need to enable this option and this will automatically generate the invoice after placing an order by the customer then you can set the invoice status after creating the invoice to pending payment or paid all right and you can set the order status after creating the invoice to pending pending payment or processing as per your own requirement there and then you can set the status of the cash and delivery as enable or disable and set the sort order for the same then we have the money uh, transfer here you can set the title whatever you want it is customizable i've set it as check money transfer so the same is visible here check money transfer then i've set it as check money transfer payment accepted check money transfer payments accepted right then here also you can automatically generate the invoice after placing an order for the this particular offline payment method as well you can set the invoice start status after creating the invoice as pending payment or paid as per the requirement there you can similarly set up the order status after creating the invoice as pending pending payment or processing as required then you can set the send check to as per the requirement i have given the money transfer details as well within the same section then you will set this status as enabled and set the sort order as per the requirement there lastly we have the paypal standard here you have to give the title the description the same would be visible at the checkout time the title the description set the business account where you want to accept the payments as per your own requirement set this status as enable set the mode as sandbox or the testing mode otherwise live environment by disabling this option and set the sort order for this particular payment method as well so yes these were the four different payment methods that are the online payment methods that are paypal uh, smart button paypal standard and the offline payment methods cash on delivery and money transfer uh, that are the different default payment methods that are available in bugisto by default there and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same at the customers end as well as at the admins end if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uedesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead